Okay, Christmas and the holidays are coming. No better time for difficult conversations and a look at SNL. Here we go. Before we eat, I just wanted to say a few words. Make it quick, Dad. I'm starving. <laughs> I will, I will. I just want to thank everyone for being here. And not just our immediate family. I'm talking about all the cousins and their kids and everybody. That's how it should be. That's right, Pop. I know everyone's busy with their lives and has their own things that they have to do, but it means so much that you're here with us in our home for the holidays. And that goes for both of us. How come your damn sister couldn't host? Because my sister's house is a dump, Daniel. You no, know, I got to pay for all this damn food? Oh, hell no. As I have always said, this house is happier when it's full. Get out the bathroom! Well, son, you and Donna have been such gracious hosts. I just hope I haven't been a nuisance. Well, you hell, air so damn dry. Oh, 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 oh. No! Phil, what are you talking about? We love having you here. And of course, this is our first Christmas with our soon-to-be son-in-law, Matthew. When you two got engaged, all of us were just smiling from ear to ear. Why? Why can't I marry him? Because he's white? Yes! <laughs> Welcome to the family. Okay, sorry. I mean... This wouldn't be so funny if it didn't reflect reality so much. Um, all of the energy and effort that people put to making a holiday seem perfect for the family. And then right below the surface, or maybe not so much right below the surface, all of the difficult conversations and fights and arguments that happen to make that dinner happen. How do we navigate that? How do we um, think about more productive ways to have these fights and talk about hard issues? Um, there's a lot to unpack, uh, but one thing that I would say is so far in each of the outtakes of fights, what we see is uh, no listening and lots of yelling and I would say some very different assumption sets about what is appropriate um, and what is the right thing to do. And so a first piece of advice is if you're going to have these hard conversations and you find yourself extremely emotional, setting some ground rules for how to do it and not just reacting in the moment, um, but setting up a time and a space to have the conversation. So thinking about the conversation of who's hosting for the holidays. Clearly, right, Eddie Murphy is thinking, you made a unilateral decision that is costing me a lot of money and a lot of headache. And of course, Maya Rudolph's character is thinking, oh my gosh, it's our family. I can't even believe you're equating it to dollars. How do you have that conversation in a way that doesn't feel like each side is sending a signal that the other side is a bad person and disrespectful? Because that's what's being sent here. Similarly, the conversation about a decision to enter into an interracial marriage. In both cases, the daughter and the parents have something that they want to talk about, but the way it's coming across, it's you're a bad person. You have betrayed us by your decision. So the decision to marry a white person is a betrayal of our family and family values. Or the notion that you think I am a bad person for marrying someone of different race, says that you yourself are a bad person and a racist person. So we have to find ways to have these hard conversations where what is under assault isn't our own kind of decency or question as a good person. Okay, let's keep watching. Hey, Matthew. You guys are being so racist. Damn right we are. No offense, Matthew. None taken. I'm just embarrassed we had to put you two on the air mattress. Uh, Mom, for the last time, it's fine. Yeah, it's actually super comfortable. <laughs> this sucks! And then there's Brian, back from college. It sure is great to have my boy back home for a few weeks. 
Feels good to be home, Dad. I am pushing so. That's channel, Dad. That's not but, but channel is a soul. No, no, I showed you this yesterday. Just get your useless black ass out of here. I know how to do it. Just go, go. Stupid ass. Son, come back in here. Anything else to get me back? Well, I just want to say that as you get older, it all goes that much quicker. And we should all cherish this time that we spend together as a family this Christmas. I know I will. Thank you, Pop. You know, I could go on, but I know better than to let a meal my wife spent so much time cooking go cold. Oh, stop. I just threw it together. No, 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 Anyway, thank you all for being here, and I really mean that. I know it might be a little crowded. This room is off limits. Hey, get off me. And we might even get on each other's nerves a little bit. Hey, Ma, do you have any... No! Whatever it is, no! This is when we make those memories that last a lifetime. Uh, occupied. Grandpa, lock the door! Because Christmas is about family. And I am blessed to spend it with mine. Cheers. 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 That was beautiful, Dad. Well said, son. That was great, Dad. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what's really interesting is that in many, many families, and not all, and maybe not yours, but in many families where there is a huge amount of conflict, all the kinds of conflicts we saw in the outtakes, there's also everything we saw in the Eddie Murphy speech. Feelings of wanting to be together, feelings of, of, of warmth about making memories, feelings of intergenerational connection and intergenerational frustration. And as we go into this holiday season, and as you think about the difficult conversations that might come up and the conflicts that might come up with family members. If in your family you have some reservoir of the speech that Eddie Murphy gave, I want to say that is a really good place to start. Because part of what makes the conflicts painful and part of what makes the conversations difficult is that we care so much. On the one hand, grandpa drives us crazy or the fact that dad can't figure out technology is maddening, or the fact that your spouse makes assumptions about whether you'll host the holidays. Maddening, maddening, maddening. On the other hand, we care about these people, we love these people, and we don't want to hurt these people. And the tendency is to avoid the hard conversation, avoid the conflict, until it blows up. But I guess the invitation I want to offer is that if we can combine that sense of affection and aspiration and warmth and goodwill that comes up with holidays with the differences that we have and the tensions and the conflicts and do that in a kind of proactive way, thinking in advance about what might be hard and then talking about it, combining both the tension and aggravation with the love and affection I think the result will be surprising and can often open up new domains of memories and new possibilities for connection. So at the holiday season, that is very much my hope for you. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will subscribe. I hope you'll continue watching this into the new year. And don't forget to ring the bell hit like and watch this next Reacts video on Ted Lasso. It's great holiday watching. Happy New Year and watch Ted Lasso.